I mean, Arsenal had a very decent game, but going forward, we all know that he's not a Ben White, and that showed today. He was solid defensively, but going forward, <clears throat> didn't really offer more to Bukayo Saka. I don't know. Transit TV, welcome to Reggie Football Show. It's a Champions League midweek, a Champions League Tuesday today. A bad one indeed, one that us now and their fans will not want to remember. Yes, it's a good, uh, a good bad day for us now, for Ateta and his boys and for Arsenal fans. And why do I say that? Sometimes they say when you lose a lot of games, you win one, it helps you to kick on. Sometimes too, when you are unbeaten, it's good to get some of these kind of experiences so that you, you sit up and know that you do not have the bad try to win every game. Because uh, recently, Arsenal fans are beginning to look uh, arrogant, crying where there is nothing to cry about, thinking that they should have or they have a perfect team that should go in to every game, blow out teams, and uh, come out with three points always. But that wasn't the case today. I remember build up to this game, a lot of people were saying that I should make uh, changes and reserve and rest players for City. And I, I had told some of my mates that you cannot do that because it's a Champions League. It's always difficult to win away from home. And Lons is a team that has not been in the Champions League for about 21 years. And uh, it's going to be an electric uh, atmosphere in this game today. The fans are going to be up for it, and they're going to transmit this energy to their players. So it's going to really be a very spirited performance by Lons. So you are the one that Arsenal should not take for granted. And don't forget that this team came second a last season in the French League. Yeah, a lot of people say it's Farmers League, but you're not going to rule out if, if for a team to come second in, in any league, they should not be taken lightly and they must be taken seriously. So I always knew that it was going to be a difficult game. I think I also mentioned that in his pre-match pre conference, and that it was. And of course, in the beginning of this game, first five, ten minutes, Lons, we are up for it, you know, their fans were up for it. The stadium was buzzing. Everything was electric. Arsenal managed to to withstand that initial burst of energy and pressure from Lance and took uh, control of uh, proceedings and got their goal uh, deservedly. Gabriel Jesus for once was clinical, something that he has not been known for since being in an Arsenal shirt. He got the goal, and Arsenal looked like uh, they were having a perfect away performance, controlling proceedings, you know, handling their business the way they should. should uh, when you play away from home, talk uh, more so in the Champions League. But uh, you know, we're going to look at this game, and I want to start from from the lineup. These days, once Ateta releases uh, his lineup or once he's made official, there is always one conversation that must come up, Raya Ramsdale, which of them will start. I think Ateta has buried that conversation now and made everybody, though unofficially, know that Raya is his preferred choice and is going to be number one in Arsenal. Again, today, he was in goal. And uh, of course, I have started again. I wasn't surprised because I said it last week. I think his career presently in Arsenal is suited more to European games than the EPL. So he he, he kept his place in the in the in the lineup. Trussard was a little bit of a, sur a surprise. He came in on from the left side. And Tomiyasu started ahead of Ben White on the right side of the defense. So these were the, the, some of the noticeable changes to the lineup. And uh, Arsenal had a very strong starting eleven to this game. One that uh, anybody would think that should be enough to take care of business and take back the three points to London. But that wasn't the case, as you already know. Tommy also had a very decent game, but going forward, we all know that he's not a Ben White. And that showed today. He was solid defensively. Uh, but uh, going forward, <clears throat> didn't really 
offer more to Bukai Osaka. I remember one one situation where he had a very very good run going forward, had a lot of space inside the six yard box of Lens, but failed to pick out any snap. And regardless of the fact that he had three or four snap players in the box to pick out from, and he gave a very loose pass, which uh, Lens had no trouble defending. And that uh, sums the story of Tomiyasu going forward for us now. And uh, him being in the lineup was uh, Ateta being true to his words a week ago. I remember he said that uh, Tomiyasu is a very important member of the squad, that all he needs now is run of games and minutes to get up to par of what uh, he's rated to be. And that Ateta did today and gave him the minutes. And he did well as a defender, solid as usual. And uh, I, I will believe he, he had a seven over ten performance today. <clears throat> the reason why he doesn't, you can't say nine over ten, is because going forward, he was not as good and as impactful as he's supposed to be as a, a right back. Another surprise on the lineup was Saka. You know, he limped off in the last league game. I thought he was going to get a rest today, but obviously he trained yesterday and uh, today he started. But this. Uh, Time around, he only lasted 33 minutes and could not even finish the first half. Ateta, after the game on his post game uh, conference, said that uh, it was at the point where Saka tried to back heel a ball that he felt something in his muscle. So, this, this looks like it's going to be a muscle problem. And if it's a hamstring, we all know it's going to be two or three weeks out. Suspect, uh, you know, suspiciously, Saka is for now, I believe, is going to be out for for the city game if it's a muscular injury. But we know that this boy or this lad, he, you know, he, we, I don't know the metal he's made of. He doesn't he seem to be made like most of us. So we only hope and see in the next two days if he doesn't show up in training, then uh, that will be it for us now with Saka for the next two, two or three weeks. Then uh, another talking point in this game is uh, Devi Raya. Of course, we know he gifted Lons the equalizer with a very loose and fancy pass that he made across the field. These are one of some of the elementary things you are taught in football. When you start playing, you don't play a pass across your goal. I, I, I think I saw Zichenko did that, do that as well, but he managed to, to ask Namale to survive from that one. But right at this time, you know, it was a very loose pass from the left side of the defense trying to get to Tomoyasu. And I believe if he had kicked that ball the way the balls are normally kicked, he should have met his target. But there was some kind of fancy with the way he tried to, you know, get that pass across to Tomoyasu. Launch, launched on it, cut off the pass, and Arsenal never recovered before they could get men back. Launch had uh, scored an equalizer. And from then, Arsenal struggled to control proceedings. Eventually, Lons got their second goal, and that was uh, the end of the story. That was how the game ended up. But it's not like Arsenal played badly. Something they have been guilty of before the Brentford and the Beaumont game, which is uh, not being clinical enough in front of goal, and that happened again today. Yes, they went uh, two goals to one down, but Arsenal had a lot of chances today to equalize and even win the game. But of course, they managed not to convert even one of them. Spitro had a shot on target, I think it was a couple of times. Tomiyasu had a chance, a very clear chance in the CCR box again. Yeah, though I wouldn't really blame him that much, but I mean, he should score from that position. Uh, kudos to the launch keeper who managed to save it. And he had some very good uh, outing today. So Arsenal has have, uh, only themselves to blame in this game. There is credit to Lons. What they, they did well in this game. They played very well. But Arsenal have themselves to blame. Not luck. Not officiating this time. Not a total selection. Nothing else than the players just didn't perform today. They didn't take their chances. And uh, they ended up losing the game. At some point, Arsenal was third on the group in their group because uh, PSV was we are leading uh, 
leading uh, severe. But uh, that game ended to two, making it to be uh, Lons now lead table with four points. As now three points in second place. Then, uh, of course, PSV in the third place with one point. So uh, that's the story of the game today. And uh, like I said in the beginning, I think this should be a wake-up call for Arsenal fans who have been li living in, in a fantasy land thinking that uh, they have a team that should go unbeaten for the, throughout the season. Now we know that uh, there are games that are difficult and uh, sometimes, you know, accept these things as reality and continue to support the team. The players as well, now that they have they've been broken, I think uh, this is how you know good teams, this is how you know big teams, they dust themselves up and go again. So I, this is, the, I think, the ninth game of the season, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, they should now go for another 10 games unbeaten and then you will see that the season will be a good one for them. On, on Sunday, they have said the city is not looking good at all. They're meeting, missing important players. If they don't come back before Sunday, then Arsenal should, should be able to take care of business and for the first time in six, seven years, get uh, maximum points from City in a league game. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's the, the, the story of the game today. Let me know your thoughts on this game. It should uh, Ateta have given uh, Saka a rest in, the, in this game today? Uh, and as you answer that question, also consider that after Saka left that left the match today, Arsenal struggled to have a uh, foothold on the game. Do you think uh, uh, Ramsdale would have done better in the match today as against what we got from Raya? I also believe that the second goal, Ramsdale has pulled off uh, saves like that today. Uh, Raya was able to stop that ball from going to the net. Do you think Ramsey would have done better in goal today than what we saw from Raya? Should uh, Ateta be true to his words and play the goalkeepers based on their performances and not uh, by preference? You know, these are the questions that uh, I would love you to to answer or you know, let's have your opinion. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so, if you're new to the channel, if you've been forgetting and watching our videos. And we are still on our road to 5,000 subscribers before the end of October. Please uh, like and share this video and subscribe if you have not done so. Help us on this journey to achieve these 5,000 subscribers before the end of October. And uh, we look forward to the game over the weekend and the, the look out for the weekend pre-game pre show coming up uh, tomorrow. That video will be coming out. Look out for that and let us know what you think. Uh, as now should be on their way back to London with zero of the points today. But I mean, they should be proud of themselves and uh, look to do better in the coming days. Bye for now. Peace out.